Hello everyone, it is a very cold January 11th here in North Georgia, and uh, because of that I'm about to drive to Florida, so I will see you guys when I get there. It's probably going to be like more than 24 hours before I actually get out into the field and start herping because I'm driving so far, but uh, yeah, I will see you guys in a second for you, and many hours of driving for me. Good morning ladies and gentlemen from beautiful North Florida. It's mid-January. It's still really cold up in North Georgia, so to get away from all that and to increase our chances of seeing some snakes this week, I've decided to take a trip down to Florida, and uh, we're going to end up going pretty far south in the state this trip, but right now we're still in the northern part. We drove about six hours last night, and we wanted to break up the drive, so we stopped and decided to herp here for the rest of the day, and then we're going to drive again once it gets dark, so... Anyways, we're out here in some beautiful upland habitat. Should be great habitat for diamondbacks, uh, hog noses, pine snakes, you name it. So we're gonna be walking around out here. And the main thing I'm really kind of hoping to see is a diamondback, but honestly, I'll take anything. So we're gonna start hiking and I will update you guys when we find something. This habitat is just beautiful. And the weather today is beautiful too. We got a nice tortoise burrow here, right at the base of the stump hole. So it's kind of a combo good snake spot but yeah it's a beautiful day out here today it's supposed to get up to around 70 degrees overnight last night was probably in the 50s so it got cool but not cold and it should be a pretty ideal day to hike so well no snakes yet but here's a nice big blue centipede look at this thing really cool looking different from any of the ones i ever see up by the house in georgia I think this species of centipede is endemic to the coastal plain because we don't get them up by me in Georgia. We just get the red ones, but really cool. Good looking bug. I'll put his log back and we're going to get back to hiking. I actually just realized there's another one under here with him. Look at that. Here's our first herp of the day. It's a nice little green knoll. Obviously, nothing we don't see back home, but I'm kind of surprised it took this long to see one of these. Well, it's one o'clock at this point, and we still have not seen really much of anything, but uh, look at the size of this hole. It could be a bear down in there, and I wouldn't know the difference. Very nice. But there's so many gopher tortoise burrows out here, tons of good stumps. I mean, we're doing what we can. It just doesn't seem like there's terribly much out today. And this type of habitat can be tough to herp even in the best conditions. Which, the conditions are pretty prime right now in my opinion, so I still think we have a decent shot. Alright guys, so I was walking along and I came across this pocket gopher mound. And I just gently drug my foot through the sand like that. And that was in there. <laughs> First snake of the trip. Beautiful little Scarlet King. My guy, please, I just want to showcase how pretty you are to the viewers. I don't know if there's only one snake. If he would stop biting me so I could get video of him, that would be so cool. <laughs> what a little grump. As I was trying to say before I got bit for the 15th time, if we're only going to find one snake today, that's a pretty good one for it to be. Look at that. Super high band count. Really interesting creamsicle color, and he's biting me again. Just awesome. That is a very good looking Scarlet King too. But one we found on the last trip was not the best looking and he wasn't healthy either. This guy's actually got a meal in him, which is really cool to see this time of year. It's just more evidence that this species is in fact quite active during the winter months, even here in North Florida where it gets kind of cold. Look at his little stub tail. I'm assuming that's from a predator, or a would-be predator, that only got away with a little bit of him. But what a beautiful snake. If we're only going to find one snake today, it might as well be this guy. That is awesome. First lamp repeltus of 2022, and the first snake of this trip. There you go, buddy. This is your sand pile.
What an awesome way to start the trip. Wouldn't have complained if it came a little earlier in the day, but. So we found that Scarlet King at 120 and it's currently 150. To put in the context, just how much work we've had to put in for that one snake. And uh, we started out here at about 10 o'clock this morning, maybe a little bit earlier. So it's been a decent amount of work for that one Scarlet King, but I'm not complaining. I'm just happy to be finding snakes considering how cold it is back home right now. invert people. This is a striped bark scorpion. They're uh, capable of delivering a pretty painful sting but are largely harmless to people. There he is. They're not so scary. I didn't even notice all these guys. Some sort of harvestman. Really cool. Lots of really cool inverts out here. Yo, what's up, dude? Where are you going? A fox squirrel, very nice. All right, guys, we are back on the road. Um, it was a productive morning of hiking, even though we only saw one snake. I'm not upset with that at all. In fact, I'm very excited with how today went, considering. But yeah, we're currently driving around a little bit in this same area, uh, hoping to see some snakes on the road. It's about 70 degrees, so. It's a little bit cool, but uh, I think it's definitely warm enough there could be some stuff out, so. We're gonna drive around for a little bit this afternoon and see if we see anything on the road, and if not, we might end up calling it a day here. Well, we made it to South Florida, and there's some grackles here. So let's go see what we can turn up in the Everglades. So here in South Florida, it's a very different climate than where we were yesterday. It really never gets very cold down here, and if it does, it's only for a short period of time. So currently it's 67 degrees first thing in the morning, the sun's barely even up good, and it's already almost 70 degrees out here. So it's going to be nice and warm today, and we have clouds. So the big thing I want to see today is either a Burmese python, even though they're invasive. I haven't filmed one for the channel yet, and I would like to. Uh, or a Brooks King. So those are our two targets for the day. So we're gonna go hike and get after it and we'll see what we can find. All right, everyone, we are out here walking around a hammock in the Florida Everglades. This is where we're gonna be spending the morning. We just saw a pygmy rattlesnake, our first snake of the day, but it disappeared into a brush pile. So hopefully that's a good omen, but we're gonna be walking this for the next couple hours and uh, looking for snakes. So I will update you guys when we find stuff. Hey, there's another pygmy. Look at that. I'm gonna take a photo real quick and then we'll get a better look. The mosquitoes are so bad, but there is our second snake of the day. A nice pygmy rattlesnake. First snake of the day was also a pygmy rattlesnake, but I didn't get any video because he escaped in the bushes, but yeah, that one's just chilling. And we're just gonna leave him right there. Beautiful little dusky pygmy rattlesnake as our next snake of the day. There are so many mosquitoes. But hey, I'm just going to leave that guy right there and we're going to keep hiking. This part of the world is renowned for having some of the worst mosquitoes anywhere. And uh, you can see this is what we're doing to attempt to fend them off, but makes it harder to see the snakes too. Either way, at least I'm not getting bit on my face. Well, I got a bite on my neck right there though, somehow. Well, we didn't see too much on our hike this morning, but here is a beautiful pair of American crocodiles. Not something we get to see on the channel very often. And that is a huge one on the left. Almost, I don't know, that's weird. It's a weird way for a man's to sit. Well, unfortunately, due to the amount of people over there, we didn't get to spend too much time with those crocodiles. There were tons of tourists and everyone wanted to see them, so I didn't want to hog the crocodiles too much, but that was really cool. American crocodiles are really only found in South Florida in the United States, so it's always a treat to get to see them up close like that, and I have not seen many, and that was definitely the best look I've ever gotten, but check this habitat out. It's just beautiful. This is really good diamondback habitat, really good Brooks King snake habitat. So we're gonna walk around here for a little bit and hopefully we'll be able to turn up something. 
Well, the other guys have spotted this little man. This is a baby diamondback, and he's unfortunately looking pretty sickly and uh, in desperate need of a meal, which seems to be a trend in this area these days. A lot of the vipers are just not in terribly great shape. Um, the cotton mouse, in particular, have been looking rough, even though we haven't seen one this trip. Last time we were down here, we saw a bunch of cotton mouse, and they were all super unhealthy looking for the most part, but nice little baby diamondback. He's, uh, like I said, he's quite skinny, so it's very likely that this guy won't make it through the winter unless he can find a meal relatively soon. So we're going to leave him to it. We don't want to mess with him too much, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to find a nice healthy one. Well, it has been a very weird day so far. I think this is only our third snake. We saw two pygmies first thing this morning, and then we haven't seen much until this guy. And, uh, of course, we saw the crocodiles, but that was kind of a brief pit stop where they're known to hang out here in the Everglades. The diamondback was what we wanted to see here. Unfortunately, this one isn't the best looking or is it in the best shape, so we're not going to mess with this guy anymore. We're just going to leave him, and hopefully we'll be able to turn up a healthy one further down the trail, so... Yeah, third snake of the day, a nice little juvenile eastern diamondback rattlesnake. So, under that tiny little rock right there, I just flipped this guy. This is an invasive Brahmini blind snake. These are one of the smallest snakes in the world, and this is a full-grown adult. These guys have become prolifically invasive throughout a lot of the U.S. just due to their tendency to sneak into flower pots and other forms of soil, potting soil, etc., and end up in places where they don't belong. But they have definitely spread their way across the United States. I've seen them in South Texas. And they're pretty common here throughout the state of Florida, but really tiny snakes. Nevertheless, really interesting that these guys have become so successfully invasive here so far from where they're native. All right, everyone, our day in the Everglades is coming to an end and uh... Unfortunately, it wasn't as snaky as I was hoping, but the weather was kind of weird, and uh, we ended up hitting mostly new areas that I hadn't spent too much time in. So, either way, it was a pretty fun day, and I'm glad we got to see the snakes we did see. I'm always happy to see pygmies, as you guys know, and that little diamondback was cool, even though it wasn't super healthy. Um, I think the highlight of the day for me was definitely those crocodiles, though, and I wish I could have been able to spend more time with them, but... Unfortunately, that is the nature of South Florida. There are people everywhere, and there's a lot of nature enthusiasts too, so you kind of have to share the wildlife with everyone around you. So, Anyways, we are heading up to Central Florida for the remainder of the trip. Uh, South Florida is fun, but it's definitely not the type of place I like to spend extended periods of time. So we're going to spend the rest of the trip in Central Florida. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here, though, and continue in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know we don't get down to this region terribly often, so I know the local people are probably pretty excited to, to actually see me down here again. Um, but yeah, heading up to Central Florida tomorrow, and I will see you guys in the next episode.